A good Tuesday morning, Quad Cities. Wow, what a difference in the pattern this morning. It is warm and still a little breezy. We're already in the 60s, and as this wind out of the south sticks around today and we get some sunshine, we're going to be heading for 80s this afternoon, a very summer-like day. Could we fuel up a quick hitting shower thunderstorm? That potential does exist. You're seeing it here on Future Track, but notice the coverage on this very, very much limited getting into the afternoon. So I'm going to keep the forecast dry. We'll head for 81 increasing clouds as we get into this afternoon, and those clouds eventually will give us a round of some showers, perhaps a little isolated thunderstorm or two within this corridor of rain that arrives before midnight tonight. That will stick with us until about morning commute time tomorrow. Then we'll work that out of here. Most of tomorrow looks dry, by the way, still warm. We're going to be into the 70s and then our next round of rain and some better opportunity for thunderstorms will be coming in late tomorrow night into early Thursday morning. So you're seeing a trend here in the model data, keeping the widespread coverage of showers and storms kind of tied in to the overnight hours, and that will be the case up until we get to about Friday. That's when I think the daylight hours have a better chance of being wet, but all in all, by the time we get to this weekend, the rain likely coming to an end sometime Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. These are the totals we're looking at multi day totals, so we're not going to get this all in one city, but it will be a generous widespread rain of at least an inch and several of you will pick up three plus inch amounts by the time this pattern begins to quiet down. So that may be you know, having you wonder what is going on with the harvest. How are the farmers doing getting the crop in out of the fields? Well, this is the latest update from the USDA, and this is what we've got for numbers. So on the Illinois side, 70% of the corn crop is in that is above last year at this time in the five year average. It is the same for soybeans as well on the Illinois side, and the same story continues for Iowa. We are ahead of schedule for this year compared to last year and the five year average. Some good news there. Take a look at though at the weekend. And yeah, there's going to be some showers at times. I think we'll be able to get you a few dry hours and we'll track that as we always do on Thursday morning. But next week is a big shock to the system. Get ready for a chilly Halloween highs then only in the low 40s and with a good northwest wind in there. You know that that means wind chills in the 30s for trick or treaters.